Welcome back to Sportsbook Review Videos. I'm Jordan Sharp, and there was another round of big injuries in week number three, notably to some big-name quarterbacks, and the one I'm talking about in particular is, of course, Ben Roethlisberger, who will miss the next four to six weeks after uh, really hurting his knee pretty badly. Looks like a sprained MCL, and uh, Big Ben will likely miss the next month plus here. Really a lot of speculation as to how long exactly he'll miss, but what is not up to speculation speculation is how much this has affected the Steelers NFL odds both this week on a short week against the Baltimore Ravens in a divisional rivalry game but in the future odds as well have moved significantly since the Big Ben injury and if he can't come back relatively soon the, play, uh, the Steelers' playoff chances might be in jeopardy. But this week, the Baltimore Ravens come in as a two-and-a-half-point road favorite in this one without Big Ben. That's at least a three- or four-point spread uh, swing than what it would have been if Roethlisberger would have been healthy, maybe even a touchdown or more, uh, because you have to think that the Steelers might have been at least a three-point favorite if Roethlisberger was healthy this week. Now they're a two-and-a-half-point home dog with Michael Vick set to make the start on a short week. Now, the Super Bowl odds have been the ones that have been the biggest mover here here. Obviously, I think the sports book suggests that uh, since Ben will miss the next four to six weeks, it really puts their chances of winning the division and, uh, and, and potentially even getting a first round bye almost out of the question here. And really tough part of their schedule coming up. Super Bowl odds have moved from 20 to one all the way up to 28 to one at Bet Victor. Not a huge swing, but Definitely noticeable as well uh, in your NFL odds betting. AFC divisional or AFC conference odds, excuse me, have moved somewhat similarly. They're up from uh, from nine to one to twelve to one at Bet 365. You have to think that the AFC is still at least a little bit wide open. Uh, whoever will play the Patriots in the AFC title game, but it does seem like New England is the uh, the class of the AFC right now, and uh, really everyone seems to be playing for the right to play them in the championship game right now. Steelers' chances of doing that probably still pretty good if Roethlisberger can come back on the shorter side of that four to six weeks. And finally, their AFC North odds, probably the ones that uh, most people will now start laying off of mostly. They were at plus 175 before the injury at Ladbrokes, now all the way up to plus 250 are the Pittsburgh Steelers after the Roethlisberger injury. Doesn't necessarily count the Steelers out, does put them behind the eight ball, definitely much like some of the other teams dealing with quarterback injuries right now in the NFL. But that'll do it for me this time. Make sure you check out my full injury roundup here for week number four and how it's affected the odds. But until then, for Sportsbook Review, I'm Jordan Sharp.